Hi there, everybody. My name is Andy Robertson at KTDC IELTS Training Center. Uh, today, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about uh, my time in Thailand. Uh, I'm very, very lucky. I know I'm lucky. I've been privileged to travel in about 46 countries in my life, and I've lived in seven countries. And one of my favorites, apart from Vietnam, of course, where I live today, is Thailand. And uh, I want to share with you some of my thoughts about Thai culture. The first thing that really struck me when I first visited Thailand, when I worked at British Airways many, many years ago, around 20 years ago, was uh, that Thais are very, very hospitable. They're easygoing, uh, they always have a smile on their face, and as a foreigner, I felt extremely welcome in their capital city, Bangkok. I'm also a fan of their very, very spicy, unique food. Uh, one of my Thai friends who also worked for my old company at British Airways, he told me Thai food has three basic flavors, which is spicy, salty, and sour. And I think that's quite unique within uh, Asian cuisines. And so I'm a big fan of Thai food, authentic Thai food. Uh, I also like the diversity of Thailand. The north is very different from the south. Chiang Mai, the capital of the north, Bangkok in central Thailand, and the southern part of Thailand, close to Malaysia, again, has a very different feel and style to the place. Another thing that I really quite like about Thai culture is that Bangkok, their capital, it does feel like a Thai city. They're proud of their country. They have many temples, castles, and palaces. They have their esteemed royal family and His Majesty, uh, their majesties, the king and queen of Thailand and the royal family is extremely respected in Thailand. But also, when I'm in Bangkok, I feel it's a truly international city. It feels Thai and international at the same time, and in many ways, it reminded me of New York City in America. It feels very, very local, but also very, very global at the same time. I can eat any kind of Thai food. I can experience traditional Thai culture, like temples or beautiful royal palaces, but I can also enjoy anything from the modern world, any style of cuisine or entertainment. And this is one thing that really attracted me to the culture. I learned a little bit of Thai language when I was there, and Thai, uh, the language is an extremely polite language with many honorifics and special verbs and pronouns that you have to learn for different people. For example, in Thailand, there is a different pronoun for priests, for people who are older than you, people who are younger for, than you, there's even a special pronoun only for the king and queen of Thailand. And so it's quite complicated, but a lot of fun. So guys, if you're from Vietnam and you enjoy uh, traveling, I recommend try a trip to Thailand. Uh, it has many things in common with Vietnam, but also some big differences which you may enjoy. And I think it's not too expensive either. It's definitely a place where you can travel and enjoy a similar, but still very different and varied culture. And be careful with the food. It's delicious, but it's also really, really spicy. So you may need to order some water or a, a local Thai beer when you try the Thai food. Thanks for listening, guys. And I'd like to talk to you about my travels in other places later. Have a good day. Thanks.